Hello, in this video, we're going to be going over the happy function book. It can take various forms of paper. You can just do them in like big things. You can do them with blank paper. You can do them with grid paper. You can even like cut out little chunks of grid paper. One thing I don't want you to do is try to create your happy function book off of this video. This is just to give you an overview of what this project entails and so you know what to do. Uh, I'm going to show you where you can find all your stuff. In this folder, you can find the video that you're watching right now. This is where you can find all the information that you need to put into your happy function book. And then this is where you can actually turn in your happy function thing once it is all complete. Next, I'm going to go into here to view the information you need to copy down. You're going to see bits of the quiz. Do not copy off of this video you're watching right now. Actually go into the quiz yourself and copy it there. I'm just trying to give you directions right now. The thing I want you to see with this is this is your book. So what you want to put into this book is the thing that you want to have in there. Uh, I've got some bits that I want you to have, but you can add additional information. Um, every once in a while, you'll see these little things. These are rubrics that I'm using in order to score your happy function book. So you can see having this vocabulary of functions, one-to-one -one and inverses, is worth three points. So these are the different things that I'm looking for. So nothing to copy down here. But when you get to the next page, this is the stuff that you want to start copying down. So here's that definition of the function. You can use these diagrams. If you want to make up your own diagrams, it is up to you. There are also questions periodically. Mostly these questions are just to kind of help you thinking about what stuff you want to put into your happy function book. If you want to just put bananas on all of these, that's fine because you don't want to think about the question. That's okay. I'm not really going to grade these. I am going to grade your happy function book and what you have in there. Here's some more information that you need to copy down. An additional question, uh, a monkey, uh, or you can actually answer the question that is here. Once you get to the next page, uh, you can see where we begin our 10 happy functions, the main theme of this uh, book. So this is a subtotal out of 20. I am looking for all of these different things inside of your book. So your first happy function is linear. So you would write down all of this information here into your happy function book. It's one of the reasons you might want to have like a little cutout of a linear function. Uh, uh, not a linear function, of a grid in order to make a nice graph for your function. If you want to go deep and put these one-to-one -one functions, you can see in that previous page that you can get extra credit by doing the inverses of your function. And then you would continue through until you get to the transformations. Let's jump to there. After you've done those 10 functions, I've jumped ahead a few pages, that then you're at the halfway point where you start talking about the transformations of those functions. You'll spot another rubric here. The tr first four transformations are eight points. And then when you dive into here, this is the transformations I want you to start with. I've done this with a absolute value function. If you would like to use a different function for your shifts, you can, but I think it's a lot easier to just copy these examples down. Again, a question you can answer if you like, uh, and then this video doesn't work, so don't even worry about that video. Just copying stuff down is all we're doing. Another rubric, the uh, symmetry transformations are out of four points. Uh, there is an example of what you can do with those. This video actually does work, so great. Um, you can copy down these examples, or if you would like to make your own or add additional examples, you can do that. How's your day going? My day is going great. Uh, if you want to answer that question. The final type of transformations is scaling. This is one that I'm really going to encourage that you use the examples that I'm giving you here. Uh, vertical stretch and vertical shrinks don't really make a lot of sense in terms of a lot of functions, but these functions uh, of sine really do work well. So while we might not necessarily know what's going on with these examples, I really recommend using these for your scalings. At the end of the transformations, I've got this nice table. I'm not going to score this table, but I do think it is a really good table. It's got great info, much words. So, wow. So if you want to include that in your book, you're welcome to do so. And that's it. That's all the things that should be in your happy function book. Reminder that once you are done, then you would leave this quiz thing here.
and then use this happy function turn in thing in order to submit your work when you're done, or you can show it to me. Thank you for watching this video and good luck on your happy function book. Bye.